E aí, gente? Ben Brewer aqui. Today, we're going to talk about carboys. I have a better bottle carboy and a standard glass carboy. We're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Stay tuned. So the better bottle carboy holds up to six gallons of liquid. It does require a number 10 stopper. You can see that the height is right about the same. It is about an inch wider than your uh, five gallon glass carboy, but it only weighs about 1.9 pounds, uh, just under two pounds. You cannot use a uh, carboy handle. You have to use something known as the brew hauler. And this will go ahead and allow you to use two hands while you move it around. Since it is going to be substantially lighter, that is kind of a nice uh, thing though. You get to distribute the weight around. Now the, the bottom is convex. This is to go ahead and strengthen it. However, when you do lift it up, you're going to have a little bit of suction happen. It's going to pull some of your sanitizing solution in there. So you're going to want to monitor that. Now with the brew handle, the brew hauler, excuse me. This is a nylon mesh. You should treat this like a climbing harness. So a climbing harness is good for three years if you take care of it really well, but you do use it uh, quite often. So after, uh, after about three years, you are going to want to inspect it for any kind of frays or folds. Uh, and that's gonna be every time you use it. You're also going to want to test it every time you use it. About the last thing that you want to have happen is have you lift up this six gallons of uh, beer and have it fall right out of the, the harness. Now, the odds are we do have uh, three different straps going through there, so the odds are you're only gonna pop one strap and the other two will hold. Then at that point, you will go and you'll need to purchase a new one. Now, the brew hauler does make the better bottle the exact same price as glass. So the glass carboy does weigh in at 11.1 uh, pounds, so it's nine pounds heavier. Now the better bottle is plastic, so many people will tell you that you have to be very careful of scratches, and that is true. You may scratch, uh, scratch a carboy, but people are talking about scratches in your fermenter like it's a place for bacteria to hide. I am under the impression that if I put sanitizing solution in here, if I clean this up really well, it is clean, I put sanitizing solution, that sanitizing solution is going to touch everything that my beer would touch. Therefore, I'm going to kill everything that is going to be able to come in contact with my beer. Um, so for me, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense why scratches are a big deal when it comes to sanitizing. But uh, there is that, um, and obviously if you put a good enough gash in here, you're going to run the, the risk of leaking. Now the glass carboy, it is going to weigh in at 11.5 pounds. That is for the five gallon version. The six gallon is slightly heavier than that. It will use a number seven stopper and you can lift it up with just the carboy handle. So you can carry two if you want to. A uh, couple of things of note. Number one, this is very slippery when wet. Now another thing about the glass carboy that you need to be careful of is thermal shock. If the glass is cool or warm, you cannot put a liquid in there that is an opposing temperature. You're going to shatter that carboy immediately. So if it's really cold and you apply a hot liquid to there, uh, and you can get that uh, compensated for by leaving some liquid in here. But again, that's gonna be liquid that you didn't brew with, so it's gonna alter the flavor slightly. I do prefer going with a better bottle. If I was to purchase this again, I would go ahead and uh, gladly purchase a better bottle. I can get a little bit more volume than out of my five gallon carboy. It is a lot lighter and easier to move around with the brew hauler. So if you found this helpful, if you decided to go with a better bottle on my advice, give me a thumbs up. And if you are interested in learning more about beer dispensers, home brewing, home brewing ingredients, or home brewing equipment, start now and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.